Hey all you people, welcome back to the Not So Handy Car Guy YouTube channel where we do fun things. Uh, we modify cars and I break cars. Today's video is going to be special, but I say that every video and are they special every time I say it, I'm not sure. We're going to be modifying my GTI back here. It's a stage two Unitronic GTI. We're going to be doing it on a budget using household items that I found in the household here. We're going to do an aero kit. We are going to do a performance exhaust and we are gonna do some safety modifications, uh, a light bar for cheap. Make sure you do this at home and let me know in the comments below if you think this is worth it. All right, let's get started. Back, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the big shoes. Check out the crease. So this is pretty much gonna be a performance machine on a budget. Let me just run you through the uh, speculative figures here. I'll do some math and I'll break it down. We'll see what this thing's gonna do. Zero to sixty times quarter mile. Trying to figure eight. It's gonna be an absolute animal. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I am chat to the noise. What's nice is that I already have a unitronic downpipe. So all I gotta do now, uh, I can just totally bypass the uh, axle back. You hear me wheezing? I need to get in shape. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have the rest of the restrictive stock exhaust off the GTI. Uh, and that brings us to the next stage of the process. We're going to be putting a new exhaust on here made out of household items. <laughs> That's a new new from the Teletubbies. <laughs> All right, serious, I'm not laughing. So this is just like aluminum dryer vent. It's, uh, it's three inches in diameter, so we're gonna hook this up to the three inch uh, mid pipe from Unitronic. And I kept the catalyst on here, so we're gonna be emission safe, no worries. And it's gonna have a nice open exhaust. Now, you know what? I might even do a stack like this. It's going to be nice and throaty, as throaty as the uh, four banger TSI can get. So we're getting rid of this thing for good in place of a much more permanent solution. This is so exciting. From the mid pipe. And then back up the end. Brilliant.org. What do you say? Should we fire it up? Sam, come look underneath. Oh my god, look at it. It's the worst thing I've ever done. A couple small revs is not warmed up okay. yet. All right, back at it, day two. You know what we're gonna do? Put these cardboard boxes to good use and make myself an aero kit. This is gonna be the wing, like this. Sam's gonna help me cut up some cardboard. So we got the wing up on top of the GTI. We are gonna use gaff tape. Uh, this stuff is common in the film industry because it doesn't leave nearly as sticky and permanent of a residue as duct tape does. So I'm gonna put this on my car uh, and hope it doesn't peel off the paint. It shouldn't. It's like if duct tape were masking tape. You know what I mean? Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Funny how literally the gaff tape it's probably the most expensive thing I'm using to build this. It's probably like an $18 roll of gaff tape. Not bad, huh? Oh, one thing I just noticed. 
In case this is too tall for a parking garage or something, I have a workaround. Watch. Ah, I seem to have lost functionality in both my trunk and my rear wiper. God, now I'm gonna get to work on the rest of the whole aero package. Hey man, great to see you. Uh, what do you think of the new mods, dude? What the fuck did you do? You look like something a six-year-old would draw. Wow. Yeah? I did a pretty good job on the splitter, dude. Yeah. The neighbors think. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Horrible rear louvers. <laughs> this is Dan, by the way. He has a GTO. What year is it? 05? 04? 04. And you'll see it on the channel eventually. Okay. We are almost done with the cheap household modifications. Just gotta do the uh, the light bar now, um, and then we should be good to drive this thing um, on a road trip. So, the point of a light bar uh, is not to blind your enemies, it is to enhance visibility. A lot of people use it for off-roading, but another common use is when you're flying down the highway, especially out west, you know, when the roads are straight, very dark, no street lamps, like the guys who did the, uh, the cannonballing. They all had light bars in their cars because if you're going 170 miles an hour on the highway, you quickly, like, like this car can do. Uh, <laughs> if you're doing 154 <laughs> on the highway, like this car can do, you are quickly gonna outrun the reach of your stock headlights. So we're gonna make a light bar for safety using pretty much all the flashlights in the house. Huh. Uh, my, my screwdriver has a, I mean, you have to turn on, yeah. but uh, it has a light. Oh, no. Honestly, this has to be one of my best ideas. Like zero degrees, I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. We take the west side, take on the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the let out the let out the yeah. I am chasing the noise. Smoking like a smokestack. We're good. This is his first time riding in the GTI with me. I'm a little scared. A little bit. All right. All right, we good? Dan, we have to go back to the future. <laughs> Is the candle still on? Yup. Yeah, that's important. iconic and embarrassing. <laughs> It's a toy. 
twerky little son it's, of a gun. It's twerky, dude. I think the arrow kit's working, man. I like it. I think it helps. The car feels very planted. Was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. This cost me about $10 in gaff tape. That's it. Oh, and zip ties. One more rip. One more. Hang on to your britches. Okay, so the G-forces may have tilted that down a little bit, but you know what? Probably for the best, it's more aerodynamic that way. It looks like the dryer vent shredded. Thanks for following me along this build. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the neighbors enjoyed the neighbors watching. really enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments below what you would have done differently. What household items would you use to modify your vehicle? And stay tuned for future modifications. We're gonna be doing a beautiful, beautiful big bean can exhaust. Take care now. Bye-bye then.